greetings everyone, and great here with another HMR Suit Divinity Edition replay. Spawn on the top right side as the pink Himalayans, we have Yisiko. Spawn on the bottom left side as the green Vikings, we have Zav. Or X Moth E Max Zav. Usually the dot before the dot is a clan symbol, but got nothing that looks like a clan symbol, so I have no idea what is the clan symbol. Let's cover each player's civilization bonuses. Mollians are infantry civilization. The boons cost 15% less wood. Barrack students get plus one curious armor starting in the feudal age. And they'll just drop off 15% more gold. Unique units like a Beto, a fast moving axe, a uh, knife throwing infantry unit, and Tigwell. Countdowns fire airs well in garrison, worthless research, and Ferambia. Government get plus five attack. Very useful. And your diversity is more apes and faster. This map does also have ships, so maybe the Vikings uh, ship bonus is going to be very useful. Vikings, infantry and naval civilization. Warships cost 50% oh, cost less per age, starting feudal age. 15, 15, then 20. It's a little bit weird. Infantry cuts plus 20% hit points starting feudal age, which is going to be very useful as well. So in our, in our state of fight, the Vikings will appear to be used more better in the able and infantry, but the economic wise looks like it's better for the Mullions. However, Vikings also get free Wirbro and Handcart. That is actually great. Not only keeps your village account high, so you don't have to take down the research that stuff. It also means you get immediate benefit with the free hand uh Wheelbarrow. Now looks like the scout does get some slices there. Yeah Viking managed to get nearly a full wall in immediately. Looks like there's a bit of a breach right there. So the Viking place has a pretty good wall in, while Pink awesome. does not. The new key of this, Berserker, a relatively fast infantry unit with health regen, very very nice, and the Longboat, which is, uh, let's see, it's a ship that does fire more arrows, I think it's more effective 1v1 uh, versus the galleys, but it's more expensive, so its, pop its main benefit is population efficiency, if I remember correctly. As well as being a bit more effective uh, versus bootings with the extra arrows. Unique text. Chieftains. Infantry deals bonus damage to cavalry. Uh, what was that? Uh, that's just the scout probably there. Uh, unique. Uh, infantry deals bonus damage to cavalry. Generate gold when killing villagers, trade units, and monks. That's quite a bit of a handful. I'm not sure. Infantry deal bonus damage versus cavalry, so doesn't make it so that you're... Swordsmen just do more effective for acts as spearmen, and to a small degree, which could be very useful since it's one made of wild cavalry instead of Ferambia. Bogzevarier. Archer line and longbows get plus one attack. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, Berserker gains now incorporated with the Elite Berserker upgrade, isn't it? Going from Mass Galley versus Fire Galleys, throwing. Remember his, uh. No, his ships cost. Yeah, his ships do cost less than feudal wage. Warships, at least, not fishing ships. So this should be very good to mass up a bunch of galleys. Let's take out both those galleys there, but the Fire Galleys will go down. Some villagers do receive some burns. And the rest of those galleys do go down. Scout still here has his two goats. And I do have these two galleys here. He may want to go for some zone fire galleys right now. Just building more and more galleys. He may be just being gold cheap. And pink here has two sides. There's a land here. So pink could potentially go for one side or the other side. Which means he could produce a lot of defense force here. Protect the fish here. So there's potential that pink could be defensive. Well, green has a lot more opportunity to be not attacked from one side or another side. So this split here could be interesting. Galleys now advancing forward. Of course, I've got these fire galleys which way forward as well. We've got a good number of galleys being pulled out here as well. We've got three docks versus just, yeah, three versus well. Oh yeah, team bonus docks cost them to less as well, so another slight bonus for the uh, Vikings. Another dock being pulled out over here. Looks like the Viking player is actually, actually a pop cap doing mass producing these uh, ships. How much does the bonus of the ships cost? Sorry, I don't remember the cost of ships. I don't really know ships all too well. Let's see, galleys is right now 77.26. 
And the... Oh, he can't get fire ga uh, galleys whatsoever. Okay. That is important. No, that's why he's going for a mass galley. Because he can't get anything else. So he can always go for some demolition raft. Fire, fire galley received quite a bit of damage right there. And we'll go down. We got five fire galleys over here. Maybe trying to push this way forward. We'll be fighting against mass galley, of course. And Green has claimed the seas, though he does have these ships, some ships scarce inside these docks. He could go for another dock over here just simply for fishing. Green could push forward and knows that there's no there is no sea connection here. Which gives him makes him may force him to wander back home. We also see a lot of docks over here, but that does pose just general questions. He may want to send a galley on the other side of the map just to scout out the region. Fire galleys maybe I'm for a bit of a flank. Overall seems like the oh we got we got castle age being pulled out by the Viking player. Finds some of these fishing ships and does deny the fishing ships, but we do also already have castle age with a Mullion player, and now he has a regular fire fa uh, fire ships to pull out on the field. These galleys need to just run away. Gall fire galleys or fire ships are really fast, but they're not fast fire galleys just yet. And just want more villagers, more fire ships in the moment. And overall, the galleys of his opponent start to go down. He's going to lose all of this. A massive number of fire galleys here. He needs demolition raft. He can get demolition raft, right? Navy, 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 Dock. Here we go. Yeah, he can get all the uh, fire ships. And I do have some demolition raft being on field. Castle H is on the way, but I think that's a whole bunch of demolition raft. Which can do some significant splash damage. He's not really uh, separating all these guys. And this is a choke point. Excellent for these demolition raft. We may go for some long ship later on. We don't see any ground forces by either player. He still has an excellent little fun cave there. Come on. Let me see. Does get some demolition rap hits there. And some good hits there with demolition rap, but he simply didn't can get them upgraded. Can did he? Get some more hits there. Do have some now long boats being part of field. He may want to get them queued up. He may want to get these demolition rap a uh, good wave of them going. Oh, a couple of fire galleys got stuck here. Push bull. Does get hit there. Does have two range of two, so these fire these galleys actually may have a decent defensive position, honestly. He may have trouble hitting it. More demolition rafts in the field. Long bows are being marked around. The extra arrows make it a bit more effective for the pierce armor. And looks like these uh galleys will be focused on down. Got a demolition raft and a long boat there. The scouts do find each other, but Green Scout will win out. It does claim those goats. It does manage to skirmish, uh, skirt around these forces. Very, very nice. There is a demolition ship there. So he has demolition ship research now. Demolition ship. Paints up forward. Chose with the higher health one there. Does get a great hit onto it. He could go for some guard towers in this area, just to pull up some extra sh uh, damage on the ships, because guard towers do close damage versus ships. We got more waves of fire galleys from the long field. He needs to take time to reinforce. I does lose a long boat there. He may want to get these guys killed off quickly. Does get them listen raft to pull it on the field. And the long boat does sleep on out of there. Gets a direct hit there, getting splash damage off two of them. Let's take out another one there. Those lose the long boat in turn. He needs to get these guys evacuated there and start stabilizing the region. He needs to get a group of force there. Long boats do great in four uh, groups. And the fire ships do bad in choke points. So I'm focusing these guys out at one time. He does get this one here. He needs to get masked out. Fire ships now. Long boats are they're starting to engage. He needs some great damage there. Focus on these fire ships. More longboats here. It's a messy situation for Green. 
Needs more focus down these guys. Does focus on the lone, lone one there. Needs more fire ships or demolition ships. Is a good damage there. He's getting back in the corner. Long boats are still here. I still believe he needs to get some guard towers. Is it castle age? Maybe collect some stone for our castle? But the long boats are getting overran. Got more demolition rafts there. Good hit there. More both good hits. A single castle in this region would help him stabilize the entire region. I do got no, no dock over there. The Viking player has not claimed any people use any stone at the moment. He may not even have a second council. In fact, he's been skipping out village production. The Viking player down the only has 44 villagers. His opponent has 56. Both sides are going heavy in ships. They're not really pulling out villagers, are they? Now Green's going for more villagers now. I think he's been really skipping out his villager production. More rafts there. Does have another long boat. Let's pick off the wounded one there. He has more production there. Now has a forward dock as well. And I think Green... I think Green's going to lose the game at the current rate. Trying to build some more docks now, trying to focus on the villagers first. They are starting seeing some third degree burns. At this current rate, more second degree burns. Yeah, I think the lack of defense there and Green does back on the game. I think Green should have got some stone and gone for a watchtower or two. And I think he should have deployed some defenses there to help protect so he could build up a good number of longbow numbers. Longboats do great in mass numbers, and he didn't have the mass numbers. Yeah, either way, this is Adam Great saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.